hi welcome back to covid clinton so in this video i will show you how to push your django project to github so without further ado we are getting started right now so first of all you need to have git installed on your computer so simply go down to this simply go down to your browser and search for download git download git so you need to first of all have git installed on your pc so you're going to click on the first link so now Currently, we are on Git's website, so you need to pick up the version for your computer. For me, you can see on the right on this computer screen, you can see I have the version for Windows because I'm, I'm on a Windows machine. If you are using a Linux machine, you're going to see the download button for a, for a Linux machine. If you are using a Mac book, if you are using a Mac computer, you're going to also see a download button for a Mac computer. So, first of all, you need to download Git. So, once you download Git, you also have git bash you understand so you, you are going to also have this command it's just like you're going to have this command line interpreter called git bash once you download git so you're going to run our git command in this terminal you understand so without further ado we are getting started right now okay so once you've installed git you need to go down to github and create an account go down to github.com github so you're going to come down to github you're going to come down to github.com and then create an account in the stand so currently github is loading so this one account in the stand so if you don't if you don't have an account on github you you need to just create an account it's very very simple in the stand so git and github are not the same thing they are two different stuff so i made a video on that so you can watch the video and understand the differences between git and github so once you've, once you've made once you've created an account on GitHub, so now right now I'm going to show you how to push your code from a local machine up to the cloud. You understand? So I'm going to be using GitHub in this instance now. So right now, currently this is my Git, my GitHub. This is this is my GitHub account currently. So right now what I'm going to do is this now. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down to my repositories. So now I'm going to create a new repository. So I'm going to simply say new. You can see I have this plus button right here. So just click on the plus button. So Click on new repository. So it's gonna load up right now. So I want to create a new repository on GitHub. So a repository is simply like it's, it's just like a container that helps to hold your source code. You understand? So as I said, a repository is a container that helps to hold or that helps to carry your source code on the internet or on the cloud. You understand? So right now I'm gonna give my repository a name. I'm gonna call my testing. So I'm gonna simply say testing. So you, can, so you can you can pick whatever name you like in the stance so i'm going to pick testing because it says texting is available so now you can add a simple description for your repository you understand so you can decide to make your repository public or private in the stance so if you make it public it's going to be seen by everyone around the world but if it's private it's going to be seen by only you the owner of the repository so after you've done this now I always love to add a readme file understand readme files helps to make your source close in your readme file readme file enables you to write some details about your project it enables to it enables you to write details about your source code understand so it's really really important you have a readme file it's not compulsory but it's good you have one understand so i'm going to also add a git ignore file this i'm going to add one so now we are dealing with django and django is on python so i'm going to pick python as a language so now in the start for this click on i want to pick a git ignore file in the start so i'm going to pick python because we are working with django django is from python you get so right now so i'm going to scroll down so i find python so i think okay this is python now after you've done this now i think all is set so you can add a simple description i can simply say this is my source code this is my source code for my shopping cats project okay so after that now you, you, after that you come down you come to the bottom or you scroll down and you see this button that says you see this button that says create repository click on the button and your repository will be created so it's still quite taking some time okay you can see our the repository has been created and, and, and it's called testing Understand? So after you've done this right now, so you, so you need to go down and open the Git bash. Understand? So when, once you have Git, once you once you download Git, 
you'll be given a folder like this you see this folder mm -hmm. on the right so in this folder just open the folder you see the git bash so click on the git bash this is simply a terminal for writing your git commands in the start so we have this git bash now so i'm going to make my big so i'm going to maximize the screen so i'm going to also zoom in so you can see what we are doing clearly so right now if you watch closely we have our repository called called testing in the start so now i'm going to copy this the link to this repository so i'm going to simply copy it it's copied already so i'm going to i'm going to come down to my git bash so i'm going to close one of it okay so now i'm going to go down to my desktop i'm going to cd into my desktop i'm going to change directory to my desktop location on my computer so i'm going to, I'm going to simply say cd desktop understand so right now i'm going to clone this repository this testing you can see have a repository called testing in this time you can see the name here so i'm going to simply clone it to my local machine currently this repository is on the internet so i want to bring it down to my local machine in start, i want to have a version on my local machine so i'm going to come down now and simply say git clone so right now as i said you need to copy the link of the repository down here you can see just simply copy and you come down here and you simply paste you see we are going to see this we are, so now we are going to see this repository called testing in our desktop directory so i'm going to simply say enter so it's going to clone this repository for me in my local machine so it's cloning so i think this is too big so i'm going to reduce, I'm going to reduce the font size so I'm going, to, I'm going to go down to desktop right now and this is the desktop location i'm going to look for so you can say i have this file called testing the folder called testing you can see testing so i'm going to open this folder now you can see we have the readme file the git ignore file also have this folder called git this folder shows that we have git in this we have git in the project currently in the stand so we have git currently in our local machine working in stand so now this shows that this repository is then you understand this git you can see we have a git folder in the in this testing folder it shows that this testing folder is now a git repository in the local machine stand so this dot git you see tells us that this folder called testing is a git repository now in our local machine so now as i said we want to push our source code to github our django source code so my so i'm going to copy the source code currently so now i'm going to look for the source code right here at the bottom it's called shop so this, this is so this is, this is the source code called shop this is my django project you can see i have some files now i have some files this is simply a django project now mm -hmm. i only hope you see this clearly so this is, this is a django project you get so so now i'm going to simply zoom out again so now i'm going to copy the folder or i can simply copy out the files like this so i'm going to copy these files copy sorry for the waste of time so i'm going to simply copy these files copy and i'm going to go down to my desktop and then into the texting folder i'm going to paste the file so paste so now i have these files in my git repository instance so now now i'm going to go down to the git bash terminal now i'm going to simply go into the deck i'm going to simply cd into this testing folder by putting this command cd testing you can see we have this main in front see it, it, it it's this means that the testing folder is a git repository in the stand so right now i'm going to run this command you can see we added some files to the folder called testing so now i'm going to run this command now git add git add dot so this command simply means that we have some changes we want to save we have some changes we want to commit in the stand so it's telling git that we have some changes and this dot means that it's telling git to look it's, it's, it's telling git that we have some changes in all the files this dot simply means all the files in the stand so once you run this command it's going to tell git that get ready we have some changes we want to save in the so i'm going to simply run the command git add enter so it's kind of running currently it's running so now it's done so now i'm going to run this i'm going to run another command called git commit 
git commit so i'm going to put in hyphen m so i'm going to pass a message i'm going to simply say initial i'm going to simply say initial commit so this commit this command called git commit understand whenever, whenever whenever you are trying to run a command called called git commit you need to put in the hyphen m and a message in, in a quote in the in the scene in a single or double quote understand this git commit simply means we are trying to save the changes we are trying to save changes so now i'm going to run this command now by pressing enter enter so right now you can see we have saved the changes now so right now i want to push the source code down to github if you check closely on the repository we only have the git ignore file and the readme file you understand so before i push let's assume you have some files you don't want to push to github like you, let's assume you don't push your virtual environment or you don't push your settings of pi file you can stop that you understand you can make that not be you can make that not to be pushed so i'm going to show you how to do that before so now i want to prevent some files from going to github so i'm going to open this folder right now so currently we have currently we've saved changes now so now i am going to come down now to that testing folder so now i'm going to open this folder with vs code so open with VS code, so it's going to open, it's going to take quite some time, so it's loading. Okay, so currently I have the folder opened with VS code, that's nice, you understand? So I want to explain something, I want to explain something to you guys. So let's assume you don't want to push some of your files to GitHub, you don't want to push some of your files to GitHub, you understand? So we have this dot .git, we have this dot, dot .git ignore file. So in this file, this is where you're going to add the files you don't want to push down to github this as we uh, this as you don't want to put your virtual environment so you're going to put in the name of your virtual environment down there let's assume it's called vemv you're going to put the name down in the git dot git ignore dot in the dot git ignore file with the forward slash so doing this is going to make sure that your virtual environment is not being pushed down to github or right, let's assume you don't want to push your settings of pi file you can simply come down here and simply say settings dot pi this will make sure that your settings of pi file is not pushed down to github in instance so this is the essence of the .git ignore file you get so after you've done this now you can then push down to github in instance so whenever you make some changes in your source code before you push again you must make sure you add the changes and commit before you push again oh unfortunately i mistakenly closed my git bash terminal so i'm going to open it again so i'm going to open that right again okay git bash where are you so this is my okay sorry i've passed it so git and git bash so it's gonna open okay so i'm going to cd into the directory once more so we are in the desktop desktop and right now i'm going to simply go down to testing which is in the desktop directory testing enter and then i'm going to simply say git add dot okay now git commit instance so i'm going to simply pass a message that says more changes oh no sorry i shall put the other quotes instance so i'm going to simply say git commit more changes so now i think i can push now so let's say git push origin main so we are going to push down to the main branch the main is the this is the master branch of the git repository so simply say git push origin main so enter so i'm going to push on our source code to, to github with this command understand so right now you can see our code has been, our code has been pushed down to github you can see the link to the code you understand this is the link this http you see it there so now go down to your github and refresh the page you're going to see the source code down on github okay currently you can see we have refreshed the page already instead you can see we have our source code now on github everything is now there everything is working so these are the push your Django project from your local machine up to GitHub. I hope you've learned something. If you did, 
smash the like button and subscribe to this channel so before you go if you if you are into wordpress development or so you're into web hosting i recommend bluehost they are really affordable and doing your first year you'll be given a free domain name registration and a free xsl certificates for one year this is huge this is a huge offer for you so to sign up use the link down below use the first link down below so see you in the next video so stay blessed and bye bye